for the first time since the last World Cup. Argentina wanted to show they will be a force in the next one. Tenth against 14th in the IV World Rankings. It's no top contest in terms of caps. Italy have 684 to Argentina's 354. For that victory over Australia, confirmed that Argentina deserved their place at the rugby championship table. Barely showed their teeth against Scotland at Murrayfield last week. Need to show them this afternoon here in Genoa. Kelly, Haimona, a significant unearthing of a fly half for Italy last week. So often seen as a, a problem position for Italy. The big Kiwi hasn't got a, a distant relative, done it the hard way. Moved in Italy for a fair few years now. Massi. Castro Giovanni, the only change in the starting 15. I think what's interesting in the opening exchange is just a lack of heat on the ball from both sides at the breakdown. Favaro. Another match last week. Ifa. Facundo Ifa. Made his debut against Scotland as a substitute, so his first test start. This afternoon, he's 21 years of age, part of this new breed of Puma. Kubeli. Took it up. From the fullback. Stuart was saying in the studio before the game, this is an Argentina side that can play rugby. We saw that in the rugby championship. One of the days of just relying on a Use it. incredibly solid set piece. The side can play. Fernandez at 10 tonight. Significant selection. Andrea yeah, Massi. 86 for him tonight. Let's look for clean. Midfield, Jacko. You don't see any. The hooker in the Number midfield. One, advancing in front of a kick. We were playing advantage. Just wait. Half three, Very much first blood, isn't it, yeah, to three, Italy? Yeah. Fantastic line speed defensively. One, one, really pressurising Argentina. The well, they may be able to play rugby, but right now, Italy's defence is more than a measure for their attack. And, and a well deserved first shot at goal for Italy. They've just been slightly more proactive. They've certainly had more bite to their tackles and covered their ropes better. And uh, you know, I think when you, when you rely so heavily on your intensity and your physicality as Argentina do, if they're just five percent below that, it's going to be a long night for them. Italy last week so often do. Saw it in the Six Nations, didn't they? Dip in and out of games. They somewhat back into the game at the that second quarter but then this man steered the ship very well indeed in the second 40 14 points on his test debut against Samoa first kick here in Genoa really nice no second kick wasn't it directly in front of the sticks Kelly Haimana, one from one, adds to his personal international tally now. It was a faultless start from Italy. They kicked off well, they pressurised, they kept Argentina pinned down in their own half, and Andes couldn't find a way to clear his lines, and 3-0 uh, up, and they'll be absolutely delighted, I think, from continuing the momentum that they left off with last week. Pitches that have conflicts with each other, don't they? Especially rugby-wise. Mr. Giovanni. Oh, yeah, it's right, charged down. <laughs> Never thought Guido Petty was going to get there. It's hardly a, a large 
pit bull area here. Of course, this ground used for football as well. Which is far too laid back from Hamona there. Genoa captain stadium is named after him. Tick off the first boring stat of the day. Number one blue roll away. Got Argentina having their first penalty of the day. Morisi. Back last week. Long term injury, of course. Had his spleen removed, didn't he? Apologies if you just sat down to your dinner. Kubeli. Through the South middle is fine. Tall, isn't he? And this will turn it over. And it's Massi. And Teresa. A wonderful footballer that he is. Forno goes into here to help him out. Limona. Yeah, it's a really, really nice kick. Is it to run and run? And he doesn't want Argentina to take it. Four and they'll have to put it to the line out. It's a kick for this man. Nothing seemed to phase him a week ago. Not much is phasing him in the first six minutes. But this is second test match either. Massive. Been a fantastic start from Harmona, but I think Italy, particularly when they haven't got the ball, oh, just look so away, comfortable. They're not over committing at rock time, they're getting plenty of people in their defensive line. That's allowing them to carry great line speed and put Argentina under pressure. They get the turnover, and they're right back down there now in Argentina's half. And it stems from organizational defense. On the Italian bench, and there's experience there as well, isn't it? And you can see there the first opportunity, really, of, uh, for the Italians to, to get on the attack, and, uh, and Argentina's laying themselves down at the breakdown, getting on the wrong side. The referee quite right, but it, but to me, this is is a real improvement yeah. from the Italians in terms of what they're doing at the breakdown because. They're, they're trusting the inside defender. He's getting in there. He's doing a great job at slowing the ball down, but it's just one man. The other 14 again, up on their feet, keeping great width, and it's allowing them to go with confidence and take line speed. And, you know, and right now, Argentina really struggling with it. Started where they left off against Samoa last week. I'm on a more difficult kick. And the flag stayed out. Still 3 0 to Italy, but they will be hugely, hugely happy with the opening eight minutes of this test match. Yeah, still very much pressure on Argentina, isn't it? With a 22 dropout and now, if I was Italy right now, I'd feel very comfortable. Okay. There's a huge amount of experience out there. Thanks. Makes a pretty saying. Castro Giovanni, Massi. Yes. Obstruction. You like Long the hair. Pumas. Obstruction, changing your line. Number five, changing your line. New Italian players into the mix. Also Caponaro, the youngster. Morisi. Inferno it was there. Just running a blocking line to allow the uh, the catcher a bit more time. Doesn't miss too much, Joubert, does he? He's a great referee. It's a thing. And it's a very simple mistake, and it's one of those that will annoy Jacques Brunel, the former perfect man, of course, for so many years. Of course he didn't. I think he saw him. The Australian. Kicking forward. 
Argentina have knocked it off, and Italy will have a scrum in a brilliant attacking position. Yeah, there's a couple of real world-class players on the Italian side, Parisi being one and Castro Giovanni being the other. You know, we know all about his scrimmaging capabilities, but actually, you know, the guy round the park he gets over a ball well, and he's putting in the hits tonight. And uh, again, this is a fantastic attacking opportunity here. Midfield scrum splits the defence in two, makes things much, much harder for them, and uh, good opportunity. He was rested during the summer, wasn't he? He had an abductor operation in the summer. He and Therese were both rested. Back fresh now. No free and Yeah, we don't want that. The first of four of the Autumn Internationals on Sky Sports this weekend. Of course, tomorrow at 2 o'clock on Sky Sports 1, England against South Africa. And he has been watching the final preparation of the Springbok at HQ this afternoon. Anthony Watson getting his chance in the England wing. France against Australia in the evening. Crouch. And Sunday. Bind. Ireland. The talk of week one of the autumn dash, as you have to say, Pat Ireland's performance. Yeah, I don't think anybody saw such a dominant display coming from that game and they, they really did put South Africa to the sword and um, I think look, it, it bodes very well for Ireland but I think also it, it would worry me slightly ahead of tomorrow's you know, game between, between England and South Africa as well because I doubt very much that South Africa you know, um, will play that badly again and I think they'll, they'll want to come out firing and I think the first 20 minutes tomorrow you know, could be a very, very physical uh, encounter. I'm fine, Crouch. You're practically drooling, Pat. I am pretty excited about it. <laughs> Set. Tactical spot on, you have to say. This way, please. Oh, got it right, Joe Schmidt. Got it right. Italy at the moment in this. It's Argentina brought forward 24 hours, of course. 18 minutes in. And Italy are having to do much for the lead, but what they are doing is simple and effective at the moment. You're absolutely Five. right. I think it's just about getting the basics right. And if they do that tonight, Six. I think Six. on first Six. indication, Six. Argentina potentially Early will kill themselves. But uh, that'll be a bit frustrating for them. Early engagement. Early engagement from Italy, from Aguero, Giordini, and Castro Giovanni. So Jurt, there he is. The elder statesman at 31 years of age, the Leicester Tiger. The loose head side for Argentina. They've gone high here. 4 0. Lose it. Converti. Sacuja. Spins off Gerardini's challenge. Converti again. Fernandez just floats it out there. Of course, get a dreadful pass. Nice. Look at Murrayfield, didn't he? Fernandez. Forward, forward, forward. Roll away, two blue. And again, you, you look at the width of the Italian defensive line relative to the width of the Argentinian attacking line. It's only a matter of time. And there it is, the turnover from that man, Castro Giovanni, again. It's just so predictable from Argentina. Player. They're playing right player holding on. with about 25, 30 metres of width. And, and Argentina and, and Italy all on the feet. Ready to make those hits, and the first opportunity they get, there he is, in on the ball straight away, and uh, not an easy man to get out, is he? No. Just yeah. seems to yeah. up it. His game against the nation he was born in 32 years ago now. Castro Giovanni, capped 106. So he had a couple of appearances. For Toulon in the top 14, it's uh, Carl Heyman to wrestle Ooh, that number three shirt with. And, and to be fair, I don't think he'd be too displeased about that. You know, you get to a point in your career where you played an awful lot of rugby, and having someone like Heyman to share the workload with is probably exactly what you want. And uh, you know, you ultimately, you end up getting the very best out of both players. Bad situation to be in, is it? between Hayward and Castro Giovanni if you're 
start of the tight head berth. And more now. A little bit longer that one. Same result though. Italy very much in control here. And beginning to show it on the scoreboard as well. I've got to say I've been very impressed with uh, Payamona with his one charge down kick as an exception. I think he's had an excellent game so far and uh, well, maybe they have found that replacement that they so needed at 10, someone that can control the game, kick the goals for them. Well, this time, last year, it was all, all about Tommy, the newly named Tommaso Allen, wasn't it? The young man who came through the Scottish ranks, playing 10, fallen away, and it's this man born in Rotorua. He's, he's a big man. Takes it to the line. We saw that plenty of times against Samoa last week. I think that's an important point, actually. He is big and physical. He suits the way that Italy play. They like to take Five. it to the line. They're like big runners. It's dead simple. It doesn't need to be complicated, Set. does it? There's a real battle going on in there. And it's Italy Number again. One, Full two, penalty. Number one. Two, oh, yeah. I've got to say, you know, judging by his last kick, I rather fancy him to, to have a crack at this. He's clearly got the length. Yeah. Let's see. Is that the kicky tee coming on? Castro Giovanni. Against Marcus Ayet, uh, two colleagues. So, Welford Road for many a year. <laughs> it's a uh, very evenly contested front row battle at the moment, isn't it? I'd say both sides would say that you know one of the strongest aspects of their game is their, is, is their set piece and their scrum. Maybe a couple of Premiership final wins together. And here to Castro Giovanni. Started the Bay of Plenty. Zebre will it have the legs? Uses a crossbar, but they all count. Thought it might just go on the edge of his range, and indeed it was, but it snuck over. Talk about fine margins. I mean, it's a two steps and a strike, isn't it? And he's hit it beautifully. Backside of the crossbar and over it goes and uh, well what a start from Italy. What of all ball, can't he? He's, he's you... Inside. Kick to rugby football, that kind of distance. Put your team 11 3 up. You have the confidence to give them a little show as the defenders are bearing down you. Possibly that charge down kick was in his mind. Didn't want to take the risk again. Oh, you're right, it was in his mind. But that aside, actually, he's learned from it, hasn't he? And I think that's important. And his physicality there carried him through. And then the number nine relieves the pressure. And, you know, actually, you're starting to see here, actually, I think, some real progression from Italy in terms of their coaching as well. I said to Gori, no, no, you take the responsibility. Take a best here. Into that midfield again, Kubeli whips it away. It's just fantastic defence from Italy. Fantastic defence. They're making the read every single time. They take 20 metres out of them, they turn the ball over. So often, they're filing it behind. Their tallies with Sergio Parise. But it, it, it came, didn't it, from the read off the line out as well. They all came up. It was a reasonably complex. You know, four people in attack up in the line from Argentina, but they read it beautifully, knocked them down behind the gain line. And the advantage to doing that is it allows you at the next phase to be on the front foot and take line speed again. And a great read from Parise there. In terms of the gain line back, there is only one team in it at the moment. You're absolutely right, but it comes from a it's collective organisation that's okay, allowing them to on. do it. You know, short, sure, fantastic decision for, from Parise there to pick his man out. But... He's allowed to do it because they're controlling the game line off set piece. 
Maintain your body weight. And then it's Massey. Yeah. He's not maintaining his body weight. Perfect English. He speaks, of course. He's at Wasps. Yeah, they're just a touch loose there, weren't they? And isolated at that breakdown Italy. Argentina yeah. didn't need a second invite. Nearly gets away with the double movement on the floor, but uh, I think Argentina right now, well, they'll be grateful for this release of pressure, and that's... Well, that is a mistake, isn't it? The opportunity you get to pull the pressure back on, and it's an easy out for Italy. But it's very similar to the opening of the game against Scotland last week from Argentina. Errors, defensive lapses... You expect that after that performance, the back of Australia, the, the confidence and the heart that would have given them the first ever rugby championship victory, to go to Scotland and put a performance like that, the trips were absolutely firing tonight. They're just not doing it. Yeah, and it's really, it's really hard to understand why, isn't it, without knowing perhaps more about the inner workings of the squad, because you know, we're so used to seeing them you know, right on the edge and, and, and challenging up for absolutely everything, and you just don't see it here tonight. And there was a fundamental disconnect defensively last week. I mean, you know, Scotland, all credit to them, played fantastically well, but it was made easier by the fact that they just didn't see, you know, you know like they've defended together before. Put it down, put it down. And they got frustrated in their duty, disciplined. They got to go in Scotland to the credit. And they're still trying in the first 40 minutes. Fabrice uh, sets off. Got the free kick. Flute and Clink. Wearing 11. You see, now this is the danger now, isn't it? A little Before bit of a hope confidence. Number two, Silly Wolf. Perhaps from Italy there. It's easy to clear your lines, stick, stick your boot on it. Number Everything two, ceiling off. they've done, they've done well from a structured environment. They don't want this game to break up, I don't believe. Yeah. You know, and uh, a poor decision from police say yeah. there. You go 20, 30 metres forward, give away a penalty and put pressure back on yourself. And, uh... Favaro. Try score last week, the open side for Italy. He's absolutely yeah, everywhere distance. again tonight. It was the Giordini there, penalised for sealing off, coming off his feet, going over the ball. It's funny actually. Normally, at international level, the, the breakdown is, is is such a fight that that sort of thing kind of goes unseen and certainly doesn't get penalised. Tonight, I think because it just looks an awful lot free at the breakdown, actually he's picking off some of the more specific technical points. Same more in Argentina. Looking to get themselves into this game now. Really, really well worked driving all so far. Technically, it's been superb. Kubeli just squirts out. Had to go back for it. Hernandez. He was back into the forwards. Use it! Kubeli is told to use it by the referee. Is this time really flat, didn't he? Not out. And what a Sino is there. He plays scrum half. Cortese. Contest through the middle is all good. Italy trying to come through the middle of the run. Sealing off. Wins the ball. The referee said that was legal. Argentina seal off. And after some excellent work from the line out. Argentina penalised. Thank you. And their attacking position goes. Yeah, it was good work again, wasn't it? Through the middle of the ruck there, and uh, from Ferno. I question whether he's coming in from the back foot there, and I think that's a little bit harsh on Argentina. I must say. I am in agreement. Somebody was worth. The referee's just in his file. Hamana finds a good touch. That's to Giovanni. Time of the boot laces. 32 years of age now. And he's deep round the block. Time off. Yeah, I've got time off. 
Yeah, thanks. I, I think, you know, part, partly right, time on. the lack of collectiveness at the breakdown from Argentina is, is what's cost them at the moment. They're hitting it in ones, it's making, no it's accentuating the issues no that they've got. And Alessandro Rosani takes the line of the ball and is smashed back. Gavaro again, the man, just to clean things up there. It's Giraldini. You know, it's very important to watch your cockles. Leicester side now, it, Tom Young's out. On your feet. So and again, it, 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 it's one man trying to fix a problem, and it's just so easy for the referee to spot it. Hit it in twos and threes, the dark arts come into them, you know, come into their own a bit more. We would know. Okay, okay, so just it for about five years. That is Shafaro, the bad, do too nice. And the manager just says, well, let's just work ourselves back that down the field. Like an exit to the That is Shafaro. This is time it's not easy. To maintain their body weight. Oh, I'm sure. Here, Dini. Was it? Got it. Zani, got his out. He's in touch. Can't quite believe it. Live wire though, isn't he? Very, very nearly snuck through down the blind side. It's been touched by your number nine. And actually, it was smart play again from the Italians at the line out. You know, they, there was nothing on. They reacted well, took that short one round the front, which I don't think was a preset call. I think that's their, their get out call, as it were. And, uh, well, Corey, a little bit unlucky there, not to get away. Just growing in this game, all the Italy. Stupid Argentina to come out. All the traps at a million miles an hour. It's been Italy who've been in control pretty much the entirety. Swinging this around the side. 33 minutes and again. Don't get involved. Don't get involved. Oh, okay. Very clear. All right. That's what he's expected from the players. It's Torre is in there. Okay. Okay. Got a hooker in the middle. Have you seen sir? Have you seen sir? Number eight swinging around the side. Uh, and to be fair, the last thing I think that Italy want is to make this into a fight. Right now, their structure, their organisation. Is, uh, is winning out, yeah. and, you know, look, walk away, be disciplined. Frustration will start to creep into Argentina's game soon. Simon, how's the time, please? The ball away from Argentina. Just jumping what they're trying to do. Of all the towns in the world, like Hernandez and Montero. Just holding him, holding start to go. Matias Cortese. Starting in the absence when he came in very early, didn't he? Against Scotland, we've seen Krivi and his thigh injury. We've been monitoring that. All backwards, Jacko. I've never seen it. Yeah. Went backwards, the officials. Yep. And Jackson, one of the assistant referees, just confirmed with Craig Joubert that. Did go backwards, Kubeli. Ufa. Look at that on the line. What is he? Kubeli again. He's been playing. Fed up of standing out on the left wing. Going to come searching, looking for the ball, looking for some action. And again. Well, the same time as Lugizimo. Okay, Ian. I'm going to turn it over. Yeah, Let's see. Thanks. And again, Italy. Doing a huge amount to turn that ball over. Do you know, you, you say that. I watched Castro Giovanni through that set there. He made four tackles. A prop forward making four tackles in that set. Plus, he put the pressure on the ball twice as well. He's absolutely on fire at the moment. And any young man looking at how you want, you know, how a prop forward should contribute into a game of rugby, right now he's a fine example of it. You know, Argentina for the first time off that line out executed well, got some momentum into it. But 
literally after one fair and that comes from the fact that you've got you know arguably your slowest man on the field getting up getting off the floor getting that defensive line if he's your weakest link and he's making four tackles it's very very hard to break the side Crushing. down Crushing in there Interesting the systems are we Italy so from yeah, Ireland rocks, last rocks. weekend didn't we a routine performance everybody knowing their roles yeah a little bit unnecessary there early ball just need to wait until his feet touch the ground before you sack it the referee quite right and to be honest it's only small errors like this that are letting Italy down right now Look, I know it's not always the best spectacle when you see a team as organised as this closing a game down like this but as a rugby purist when you see it uh, it really is fantastic and it's, it's such a huge improvement on what we've seen from Italy you know, over the last 9-10 games they'll win games during the Six Nations I'm sure I'm certain of it if, if they are as organised as this just going to say on the flip side if Fernandez didn't get a kick it's 12-6 we really haven't been in the game Argentina but as it was Hernandez so many incredible things in the rugby field that was not one of them it's a bad miss and it still stays at 12 points to 3 great take so many captures of fullback on the wing for his last two caps you saw the attributes of a fullback there again they might again the show and go Zani Italy coming onto that ball at pace now and Gori has a choice of runners Giraldini this time Again the shot. Oh, he's right through. Gory. Play on, general play. Never Referee says play on, it's got loose. And here come Argentina. Bouncing up Ramon Asino. Montero arrives. And Aguja does as well. There must be space on the left hand side. Ifa, and suddenly this game just sparks into life. Kubeli. Montero stayed on this right hand side. Cortese goes over the top of Castro Giovanni. Yes, yeah, and there's again. Kubelik goes down the I short side. Over. For a get. Hugely industrious in the last couple of minutes. Eleven unique. Hernandez. That's the fly half for Argentina's turn to show the ball to the defensive team. Hamara's done before. Tetti. Giovanni. Castro Giovanni, I should say. Both feet, both feet. Again with a tackle. This will be an incredible score just before our time, and they're going to do it. Argentina have done it, and it's Amor Asino. And it has come from nowhere, totally against the run of play. They broke out. It was that man who kicked it forward, wasn't it? Amor Asino, and he is the one who gets the five pointer as well. Well, this is the first real test, isn't it, for Italy? Time some moments of brilliance from Haimona to drive them upfield. Two clean breaks, fantastic dropout. You think everything's going well for Italy. One hack through, and uh, you know, eventually Argentina capable of putting enough pressure on to split the Italian defence. And you saw they were just so close to the line. Italy concentrated themselves and. Well, the gaps are too big to cover, and Argentina, well, they're more than back in the game, aren't they? Can they capitalise on this now? Will they swing the momentum of the game? It is only a two-point game now. Castro Giovanni gets some attention. 
12 points to 10. Well, for 38 and a half minutes, City had done pretty much everything asked of them. Kicking the goals very nicely from Kelly Haimona. The question was asked, when are they going to find a new Diego Dominguez? Well, potentially 14 points last week, 12 this. Is he the man to answer that question? But right on the stroke of half-time, the Pumas have hauled themselves back into it.